though, Friday night lights. Here's your forecast in case you are going up to Redwood City to enjoy that game at Sequoia High School. Uh, kickoff starts at 7 p.m. We are going to see temperatures in the mid 50s, and that's really where we're going to hang out for most of the game. We will see temperatures drop into the low 50s by the time the game is over, and we're going to see mostly clear skies out there with the exception of a few high passing clouds. Now, I did that put in here that we could be watching for some low clouds, and that is because we're going to see the onshore flow kick back in. Those low clouds are hanging out just to the coast of us, so it is not, it's not impossible to see some of those low clouds or a few scattered low clouds moving into the area tonight. But overall, it's looking like a nice night to enjoy some football. Go Monterey. Here is what we're looking at for our weather pattern. Still under that ridge of high pressure. We're going to remain here throughout the day today. Uh, but again, our wind directions at the surface change just a little, and that is why we're going to see our temperatures at the coast cool ever so slightly, but most other areas are going to be uh, pretty much in the 60s and 70s yet again today. I, I'm going to say this is the last day we can say temperatures are going to be warm because as we head into the weekend, we have a cooling trend. This uh, ridge will actually weaken, be replaced by this trough here, and that is really going to start to cool us down. In fact, by Monday, we're going to see temperatures in those upper 50s. Now, this system we were watching looked like it was going to bring us some rain into Monday and maybe into Tuesday. I'm going to tell you right now, the trend is looking drier and drier every day I keep looking at this system. So I'm still keeping rain in the forecast, but it's looking very slim at this point. But don't be surprised if you do get a sprinkle or two maybe on Monday. Very light rain possible. For today, though, we're going to see mostly clear skies out there. This model doesn't typically handle our high clouds very well, but we will see some high clouds, especially early this morning. Some clearing as we head into the afternoon. Those high clouds will return later this evening. And as I mentioned, we do have some low clouds just hanging out to the west of us. And if you are going to the game, that's why I mentioned you could see some broken low clouds in the area. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some broken low clouds in the area as we wake up tomorrow morning, those low clouds filling in around the southern portion of the bay into the peninsula. And we might even see a few of those low clouds move into the Salinas area, Prunedale area as well, which means we could see some patchy fog in a few locations tomorrow morning. Our temperatures today looking pretty nice. 69 in Monterey, still above average for this time of year. 71 in Watsonville, 67 in the Santa Cruz Mountains at Boulder Creek there. Up and down the Salinas Valley, we're still going to see those 70s, low 70s out there today. 72 for Salinas, 73 for Soledad, southern portions of Monterey County, almost in those mid 70s. And Hollister, we were in those upper 70s yesterday. We're going to drop them down into those low 70s. So cooler temperatures today, but still nice, still warm for this time of year. The last day we can say it's going to be warm because because look at these temperatures. Low 60s returning to our area. Again, watching that system on Monday, that could bring us a chance of rain as that system passes by. We do have the chance of seeing some gusty conditions at times. As we head into our inland locations, we're gonna start seeing those temperatures drop to seasonable for this weekend. We'll still see sunny skies out there. And we do have a very slight chance on Monday to see some rain even for our inland locations. Temperatures dropping below average for this time of year as we start the next week.